Welcome sa channel ko. Marahil kaya nahanap mo ang video na to kasi naghahanap ka ng Tagalog na video, na math video para mas maunawaan mo ang iyong lesson. Siguro nahirapan ka sa math. Siguro kaya ka naghanap ng Tagalog kasi nahirapan kang unawain ang mga video ng mga, mga banyaga, mga foreigner. Eh, mas mahirap maunawaan na nga yung math so mahirap pang maunawaan lalo dahil English. So ngayon, ito na ang Tagalog version. So, welcome sa channel ko. Sana may matutunan kayo. Itong video na to ay tungkol sa evaluating a function at Tagalog version. So, hanapin nyo pa yung iba, po, iba ko pang mga video para mas may matutunan pa kayo. Welcome! Ngayon, sa second example naman natin, we have g of x is equal to x squared plus 2. And we are going to find g of 0. Nang x squared plus 2. So, ganun lang din. Substitute the value of x. So, we have 0 squared plus 2. 0 squared is 0. Pwede na natin itong i-cancel. Tanggal na yan. So, ang matitira na lamang ay 2. So, therefore, g of 0 is equal to 2. So we have example number 3, we have h of x is equal to x squared minus 9 over x minus 3. And we are going to find h of 3. If you can notice, this function is a rational function. Fraction siya. Meron tayong numerator, meron tayong denominator. And according to the rule, dapat kapag ka exponential function, yung denominator hindi mag-equal sa 0. So therefore, kung ito ang isa substitute natin, we are going to find h of 3. Sa denominator, isa substitute natin siya. So magiging 3 minus 3 ito, this will become 0. And it will become undefined. Now, we have to find ways so that we can uh, avoid making the rational function undefined by means of factoring. Okay? So, pwede natin gamitin dito sa numerator yung difference of two squares. Okay? Kailangan daw yung first term, uh, para may apply natin yung difference of two squares, kailangan yung first term daw ay perfect square. Kailangan daw yung second term is perfect square din. At kailangan ay difference nung dalawa. Okay? Now, let us check out kung siya ay uh, pwede natin gamitan ng difference of two squares. So, the first term is a perfect square. The square root of x squared is x. And the second term is also a perfect square which is, ang square root niya ay 3. So, therefore, we can apply this. So, the square root of a squared is a. The square root of b squared is b. Then, lalagyan lang natin ng plus and minus sign sa gitna. A minus B. Okay? So, pwede natin siyang i-apply dito. So, this will become square root ng x squared is x. Square root ng 9 is 3. Then, lagyan natin ng plus. Then, another 1 minus naman. X minus 3. Over x minus 3. Now, we can cancel out the denominator x minus 3. Ang matitira na lamang ay x plus 3. Now, we are going to find h of 3 of x plus 3. So, that will be 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. Ngayon, sa ating fourth example, we have p of x is equal to x squared minus 1 if x is less than 2. And x plus 2 if x is greater than or equal to 2. Ngayon, itong function na to is a piecewise function. Okay? Piecewise function is also known as a hybrid function. Medyo kakaiba yung itsura niya. Kaya yung ibang estudyante nahihirapan dito. Pero madali lang siya kung tutusin. Okay? So, we are going to find P of 2. 
What is P of 2? Ano ba ang sinasabi sa piecewise function? Sabi lang dito, kapag ka daw yung value ng x na gagamitin mo ay less than 2, ang gagamitin mo ay itong function na ito. Kapag ka naman yung value ng x ay greater than or equal to 2, therefore, ang gagamitin mong function ay ito namang function na ito. Ganun lamang ang piecewise function. Ganun lang siya kadali. Okay? So, if we are going to find P of 2, saan natin, anong function ang gagamitin natin sa dalawa? P of 2. So, dito tayo sa pangalawa. Greater than or equal to 2. Kasi 2, 2 yung x natin. So, therefore, greater than or equal to 2, ito yung gagamitin natin na function. So, P of 2 ng x plus 2. Substitute, we have 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Another example, let's say we are going to find P of negative 2. Eh, ano naman sa dalawang yan ang gagamitin natin? So, sabi rito, ano ba ang negative 2? Is it greater than or less than 2? So, negative 2 is less than 2. So, therefore, ito ang gagamitin natin na function kasi x is less than 2. So, we are going to use x squared minus 1. So, simple lang. Substitute. We have negative 2 squared minus 1 is equal to negative 2 squared is positive 4. Bakit? Kasi 2, negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Minus 1 is equal to 3. O, isa pang example. So, let's say P of 0. Ano ba ang 0? Is it greater than 2 or less than 2? So, it is less than 2. Mas maliit yung 0 kaysa sa 2. So, therefore, ang gagamitin natin ay same function. So, we have x squared minus 1 is equal to what? So, we have 0 squared minus 1 is equal to negative 1. So, ito yung ating mga example. Ayan, tapos na. So, thank you for watching. Sana may natutunan kayo sa video na to. And, sagutan nyo na yung dapat nyong sagutan. Thank you!